Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make crispy oven-baked chicken wings. Chicken wings are always insanely popular. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the crispiest chicken wings in your oven. For this recipe, you'll need two to three pounds of chicken wings. Take some paper towels and you wanna pat these so that they are as dry as possible. You want to remove as much moisture as you can. Today we're gonna to be making these with a traditional buffalo hot wing sauce. However, I'll also give you six other sauces and flavor ideas on my website. Once your wings are dry, you'll want to transfer them all to a large mixing bowl. Then we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of baking powder. Now, this is not about making a breading for the chicken, this is actually about science. The baking powder is gonna raise the pH of the chicken skin which is going to allow the peptides in the proteins to break down easier, giving you a crispy chicken skin. Be sure to use aluminum-free baking powder for best results. Then we'll add in a half teaspoon each of salt, black pepper, and paprika, though you could also add in garlic powder or onion powder if you wanna add some additional flavoring. Then use your hands or a pair of tongs to toss this all together until the chicken is fairly evenly coated. Then we're gonna place a wire cooling rack onto a baking sheet. Then you'll place your wings right on top of that rack. You don't wanna crowd them too much, give them a little room to breathe here. If you need it, you can always use two pans. These are going to end up baking on this same pan, so keep that in mind. Then we're gonna slide these into the fridge and let them sit for 12 to 24 hours. If you're short on time, I'll give you a little cheater method on my website. When you're ready to bake, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then pull your wings directly from the fridge and place them straight into that 425 degree oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. And of course, actual cooking time will vary just a little bit based on the size of your chicken wings, but it should be somewhere in the 30 to 45 minute range to get them crispy and cooked to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Just before your wings are done, you'll want to prepare your sauce. I told you I was gonna show you how to make a buffalo wing sauce, but I'll throw in a few extra sauces as well. For buffalo sauce, you'll need a quarter cup of buffalo hot wing sauce, and I like to use Frank's Red Hot. You'll also need about a quarter cup of melted butter and about a tablespoon of honey, or you can use brown sugar. Then simply whisk this together. We'll set that aside for a second. One of our other favorites, which is super simple, is a lemon pepper sauce. For this one, you just need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and a tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning. Just give that a whisk. And don't worry, I have all of these sauce recipes on my website plus more. You can print them out so that you have three pages or you can just print out the recipe for crispy baked chicken wings. Another favorite for us is garlic Parmesan sauce. You need a quarter cup of melted butter, third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon each of salt and black pepper and whisk that together. Then I've also got recipes on my website for teriyaki sauce, a simple barbecue sauce, honey garlic sauce, and even salt and vinegar wings, which are delicious. They require a brine before you pat them dry and start this whole process. At this point, I think our wings are almost done. Go ahead and check on these, oh yeah. They're perfectly brown and crispy. You can feel the skins are just perfectly crispy. Go ahead and place a bunch of those into a little mixing bowl. I'm gonna divide mine up so I can get different flavors. Then whatever flavor option you're using for the sauce, simply drizzle it on and then toss to coat. And then you, my friends, are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe as well as a link to my website with all those sauce recipes in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.